Oh, I wonder what it's going to be like out according to the weather forecast. It's supposed to be shit today. Rainy and garbage, but we'll see. All right, 7.29, Tuesday, June 16th. I'm officially 48 hours into this fast. Last night got a little rough with the hunger. Falling asleep was tough. Got to bed around 12, woke up at 7. So a good little seven hour sleep with some hiccups in there, but it's time to drain the main vein. <laughs> Dehydrate completely and weigh in. Hello. Hey yo. Is this a foot channel now? I guess it is. Why do I have so many marks on my feet? <laughs> All right, y'all know what time it is. Gotta get to the old faithful. This floor, of course, the constant in this experiment. We don't need any weird variables. Sorry about the other day with uh, my toes. I cut my toenails up nice for you guys, manicured and everything. 222.6. Yesterday was 224.6, down another two. Perfect. All right, y'all, welcome to the daily ritual. How's the bags under the eyes today? Do I look like a weird newborn slash old man? Hopefully not, but probably do. I definitely have bloodshot eyes. Once again, gotta hit them with the clear eyes. It just has to happen. Yes, I make funny faces when the who doesn't make funny faces when they put in eye drops? <laughs> so unnatural. <laughs> These little things, this thing just jamming in your eye. Uh, I got used to doing that when I used to get baked all the time back in high school, but uh, somewhere along the way in my regular life, just I think it's because my sleep is, sh is shitty. I kind of suffer with sleep apnea and stuff, so maybe this weight loss will help with that. But anyways, that's a daily ritual. If anybody out there knows like a, a permanent remedy to like actually fixing red eyes, I would love to know because I don't want to have to do it for the rest of my life and I hate it, but it is what it is. But uh, time to make our snake juice. Our first one for today, I had two yesterday. Um, but we're gonna make this one so that I can go on a big walk right now, take you along with me, go out in nature, we'll talk and shit. But got my water. I actually got myself a quarter teaspoon yesterday. So now that we have proper measurements. As you guys can probably hear, the construction guys are back at it again, as they always are. Okay, quarter teaspoon, Himalayan pink salt. In she goes. Quarter teaspoon, potassium, no salt. You can pick it up at any store, Walmart, whatever. And lastly, our one pill of that good magnesium. Every time I start chopping up one of these pills, I just feel like so degenerate, just remembering so many sketchy times in my life. <laughs> oh man, brings me back, the good old memories. You know what, I'm just gonna brush this in down here. Magnesium to actually break down more. I need it in like a true powder form. Once again, shout out to the coldest water, best sponsor on the planet. And actually, to be honest, the most massive shout out to you guys who have been buying this up. Like, I'm always floored. I keep getting uh, commissions. Super appreciative. And I wish I had the names of the people who are buying. Like, I wish I could personally shout out who is buying this because it's, it's hugely helping me. So like massive thank you to you guys. So, and I hope you enjoy the product because I personally think it's like legitimately, authentically amazing. I love it so much. So I'm gonna get some ice in this, pour the rest, uh, and then we'll head out on the trail. All right, and for this walk, you guys, I'm going to need some entertainment for the most part outside of talking to you and filming some stuff, uh, but we're gonna hit up a Joe Rogan podcast. We're gonna select one, hopefully one that's about two and a half to three hours, download that, put it on the phone, and that's gonna be my challenge for today. I'm gonna to walk as long as this podcast. So my walk will not be finished until this podcast is done. Okay, I take that back. I decided against it. I'm gonna download two, two, two bears, one cave, because it's only 124 minutes and 117. So I'm gonna download these two and that'll make up like a nice two and a half hour or almost three hours. And I just love 
Burt Kreischer and Tom Segura. Like, <laughs> they're so good. So I can download these and get the step in. Huh, what did I tell you? I'll make your bed, bitch. Well, another bluebird beauty out today. A couple more clouds, but the greenery, the scenery out on the course. These golfers are getting eagles, birdies. They gotta be with this weather. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. All right, so I'm a little ways into this walk. Not as nice as yesterday, but uh, it was calling for showers today, but it seems like that won't be for a little while here but uh just wanted to touch on how the fast is progressing in terms of just like my feelings as to what has gone on in my body and uh so the first 24 hours actually first 36 hours were just a breeze like no hunger no issues no nothing and then last night when i was trying to go to bed the hunger started to strike and uh getting to bed was a little difficult that's one of the hardest parts about fasting or prolonged fasting is that sometimes when you're trying to sleep your body's just like yo man you gotta hook me something up but you just gotta push through that and hopefully fall asleep which i did eventually wasn't the best sleep ever yo that's another crazy thing too about it's so true what they say like having lived in a major city like everybody's so cutthroat in a major city and nobody cares to talk or say hi or be like friendly or neighborly I will say this in a small like relaxed pace city town or whatever literally everybody i pass says hey how are you hello good morning it's crazy and it's it, it makes you feel good yeah like it's cool like it's a cool feeling to have like just that general nice human you know what up how are you good morning kind of thing it's very interesting you never never really had that when i was living in the city it was just everybody's like trying to get to work it's like intense sounds crazy very wild but anyway so yeah had a had a weird sleep had some really vivid dreams had one of my weird alien dreams i've had many alien invasion like ufos from the clouds and they just start shooting tu, 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 tu. i've had so so many of those but in varietous forms not like a recurring but just like similar ones which trip me out every time they're very crazy they're super intense but yeah so got through my sleep and then now this morning there's once again once i've slept my body has like reset and forgot it's like the hunger is just not even a thing i'm i can i had one thing of water and i just feel completely satisfied like i have no hunger pains anything like that feel great feel i have energy i don't feel like lightheaded nothing like that so and i had a very busy day yesterday and even then i didn't feel off or weird so we are uh heading into the third day going on 72 hours tonight or well by tomorrow morning i should say so at seven o'clock tonight it'll be yeah, at seven o'clock tonight, it'll be 60 hours and then I'll sleep the night and then in the morning it'll be 72. And when that rolls around, I'm gonna actually gauge how I feel. I might push it to 96. I'm thinking about pushing it to 96. Just, we'll see how I feel, so. Currently on a trail heading towards that's gonna go past my high school. So maybe I'll give you a glimpse of the high school and then, you know, a couple memories from there. I'm actually gonna end up walking under this bridge that we used to get smoked out under all the time. So maybe I'll just give you a quick glimpse of that. And then I wanna find a place to sit down, maybe in a park somewhere, just get to a uh, picnic table or something like that to set up the camera. And then I just wanna address Hoodie's house, okay? Cause I know everybody's freaking out. There's a lot of people not cool with the change and everything, but once again, you know me, I always have a whole backstory of why right so we'll get to that so that's my high school right there it is clearly getting a facelift that's our total makeover and then right here in the middle of my high school area was this river 
and dudes used to full on bring fishing rods to school and on their lunch break or skipping class, they would come down here, smoke weed and catch fish in this river. <laughs> so, I mean, if that gives you an idea of the type of town, the type of Canadian <laughs> Ontario town that I'm from, you know what I mean? Dudes used to fish on lunch break, so it's a real thing. I wasn't one of them, but. <laughs> All right, so I made a video called like a fight story time from high school and I made something called Hood Sandwich, which by the way, that video has provided me with so many laughs, the comments on it. I think I should actually just do a video addressing the comments from that video because they are hilarious. Anyways, there used to be so much more of the building here. Like they tore down a ton of building. And right here, before they leveled this all out and made it like nice, there was a cement laneway, a ditch of water, and then this was all student parking. And so in that video, I talk about how on the other side of school, I met for the fight and it didn't happen. And then me and my buddies were coming out of here to come through this field to exit here to hit this bridge, right? And this bridge goes down to McDonald's and shit, which I've talked about where we used to uh, go eat lunch and skip and shit. So we're about right here by these trees about to be out of here. And out of there comes literally a mob, like a hundred people just wait, 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 wait. Me and my three buddies getting rolled up on and the kid I'm supposed to fight in the front of the group, right? We square up literally right at that tree. And that's where, I, I'd be, that's where I'd beat him up. And then there used to be like a little ditch with all this water in it. I kicked him into the fucking ditch with water. And then we pieced out to go to for lunch. So there you have it. A first glimpse, a first person glimpse into the area that I had my first high school fight, my only high school fight. And what's even more hilarious on that topic is yesterday I went to the corner store by my house and as I'm about to walk out, guess who walks in? The dude I fought in high school. We walked right past each other. He didn't recognize me because I had my glasses and hat and everything. It was just very quick. I recognized him immediately. He looks the same just with like a with facial hair. And he looked just as pissed off and mad with life as he ever did. So I don't know. It was hilarious. I saw him though. And uh, yeah, it was just, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing happened obviously. Because even after we had our scrap, he was all like respected me after the scrap, right? So I even said it in the story, I think. If you haven't watched the story, you can go watch it. It's an ASMR. If you don't like ASMR, then that's your problem, I guess. I don't know. I'm into this energy. That's a big mood right there, to be honest. Catching a cross knee by the river in the wilderness with a babushka, V into it. Okay, now we're entering Smoker's Paradise. Okay, <laughs> here it is. So many memories. We used to go under here as sober 15 year old kids. And we used to come out of here intergalactic planetary, another dimension, like a whole new wor world. And then we used to go to McDonald's and jump, jump on this trampoline and like eat pizza and just be ridiculous, skip class, out of control. Now they put these rocks down and shit, but this used to be all like dirt and chill, but we used to go right up under there. Always loved coming out, being super high and then going through this trail. This trail was the best. Just nice high trees through here. We used to like skate and shit. Good time, good times on my way, on our way to our friend's house. We had the naturopathic, like holistic doctor mom. The story I told recently about pissing my pants uh, and how like his mom got us tickets to like that concert at Rock the Ford or whatever. His place is just around this bend basically. So we used to like get high, go here and then go to that house and just like have the best afternoons ever. <laughs> All right, I've been walking for two and a half hours. The sweat shows that. I'm getting back near home, and this is the first appropriate place that I've found to stop and shoot this video that I want to shoot. This little talking point here. Because I've been walking in the heat for two hours, I already crushed what was in there. 
There's still a little bit of ice left in there. Uh, I don't know if this is a cheat, but it is zero sugar Powerade and on the back it says zero calories, zero sugar, et cetera, et cetera. So, I mean, I'm in dire need of some more liquid. So I'm gonna add this to there because there's ice in there. I just absolutely need this hydration right now. And what else I need to do is talk about and address Hoodie's House. The name change, the channel change, the rebranding, the everything like that. So I think I read in the comments, somebody was like, said like, oh, you're just gonna disappear for a week and come back with a whole new channel name and not say anything. I was eventually always gonna say something. You guys know I'm always gonna keep you up to date as to my mind state, my mind frame, and like how I'm thinking, how I'm moving. Now, uh, you guys know for a while, you've seen me fluctuate with the name. I tried to change it to Hoodie Noir and stuff, and I don't know, just, so there's a few reasons for it. First off, it just wasn't resonating with me anymore. It just, I'm the type of person, like I've said in the past, like why I would never get tattoos, because I'm the type of person who would regret a tattoo X amount of time later, like, I kind of change the way I dress. I go through my phases. I go through my trends. Like I always kind of reinvent and become a new in a sense. Like I always try to like, I don't know. I just get bored of things easily. Right. Right. That's, that's one of my biggest uh, downfalls in my life is that I'm just like super indecisive. I'm really all over the place. I love too many things to stay with one. I love being, it's a gift and a curse, but I love being like multidimensional and dynamic and like having many interests and like being semi-talented in a lot of them but uh, at the same time it is to my detriment because if I just stuck to one and picked it and stuck at it I'd probably be more successful in 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 it you know what I mean so um, anyways yeah so that's just kind of my personality is I, I always like to like freshen things up you know what I mean um, the next thing would be is that hoodie's house had a nice ring to it you guys always call me hoodie like you guys just standard that you would call me hoodie now so it's like I didn't want to change that so I wanted to keep it hoodie still uh, and then hoodie's house it just feels all-encompassing and like inviting and I don't think anybody would get the wrong idea about it you know what I mean I just feel with, with black hoodie like there's people out there who like I've even had pe like people comment being like yeah, you kind of people think you're kind of shady with that name like so Hoodie's house just feels like nice warm cozy inviting comforting and all-encompassing and That's the whole thing that I want to do here is to be more all-encompassing of my true Dynamic nature as a person. I want to do more than just cook and eat food now like I've been showing you in these videos like I just want to show more of myself and um, so I want the channel to be more all-encompassing of like just me as a wide variety as a human as a dynamic person as somebody who is kind of multi-talented to some degree uh and just the other thing that i'm realizing that is if i don't push myself to showcase these other things about me that i want to bring to fruition that i want to manifest for myself in all arenas of my, of my creative outlets if i don't start pushing myself to bring those and and kind of like unfortunately force them upon you or force them upon a new audience then they will never be brought to light and i will never actualize anything with them so to keep denying them and, and stay stuck in this just this food box is to kill the dream of all these other things that i have to offer so i know i have to bring it to light and you know it's tough i know not everybody wants to see it all but if this is for me like this is what i have to do for me and i just hope that people will gravitate you know what i mean that's the only thing you can do in life is pursue the things that you want to and hope that it's received well or people gravitate a perfect example is like when i first started releasing music early on on this channel i used to get maybe a couple hundred views 600 maybe a thousand at best and like some uh some thumbs up and like quite a bit of thumbs down um, because the interesting thing about like pursuing things like music and that like we as a society are super quick to just gravitate to food because we all have to eat food it's super relatable and we're all for uh bigging up and people succeeding in this food thing and just like crushing food and stuff in their faces and enjoying that like you like you'll support that but when somebody brings like a real thing that takes like an actual skill like for me to like make a beat record the vocals write the song uh, engineer the track make it sound good all that stuff you put that up and it's like it the support is just barely there 
and that's fine. Like I, I understand that it's hard to convert people to be fans of you, uh, like in a real artistic sense, right? Because the food thing, the personality thing, very relatable, very easy, not divisive at all. It's just kind of like it's a human relatable thing. It's just I'm a person. We all eat and we all have stories and we all have lives. So I get why that would be more supported, but it's just an interesting concept. So anyways, perfect example is when I first started releasing music and stuff, didn't really get much support. Got a lot, of, got more, a lot more thumbs down uh, than it does now. But that's the thing about life is you have to show and prove and you have to consistently show up and show that you're, whatever it is that you're pursuing is like to be validated is like, you have to prove yourself time and time again. Like, like, wait a minute, maybe this guy has something here. You know what I mean? So as time has gone on now, when I release songs, I get five to 10,000 views and I get a lot of thumbs up and I get still my 20 to 30 haters. They're my data haters. They, they don't want to see me succeed in any capacity at all, but shout out to you for coming through. Uh, your thumbs down mean just as much as a thumb up and uh, a shitty comment means just as much as a good comment. So that's fine. So anyways, back to hoodies house and black hoodies. So the thing with black hoodie is this, I will acknowledge this straight away is that intro that I made has some level of genius to it. It was just one of those easy magical things that just happened and it is really good. And it, you know, it's hard to let it die, but I have to let it die because you know, it's cooking these goodies and it's just like, I don't want to be pigeonholed to being just this cooking these goodies and this eating this food guy anymore. And if I keep the intro, it's just, it's misleading and it's just, it's not congruent with what I'm about to do here. So unfortunately black hoodie in all arenas has to die in terms of the intro and the name. And here's where I'm going to touch on this a little bit and I don't want to like attack anybody, but you might feel a little bit attacked, but I'm not going to hold my tongue on this. At the end of the day, guys, it's just a name and it's a seven second jingle. Okay. When you show up to a channel, you're supposed to be there for the content and the human and the thing that they provide. If you're coming to my channel for just a name and a jingle, like if that's what you're getting butt hurt over or, or it's, that's going to make you unsubscribe, then honestly, sayonara, because that is not what is important here. And I don't, we live in a world. Yes, we've been, we have been conditioned by the matrix to love like about up, 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 I'm loving it. And like, you know, brands force their image on, on us constantly. And we get indoctrinated and hypnotized to the idea of a brand. And that's this false comfort and this, you know, like the Coca-Cola and I can get a big Mac and you know, it is this comfort. I understand that, but there's a difference between a sandwich and a pop and this, and then a human being. Now I understand on YouTube, I have to brand myself, right? But I'm not a product. I'm a human. Okay. So, you know, if you're all butted about black hoodie and the jingle and the name, I can't help you there, man. You got to help yourself because I don't know if you're, you're just so wired to the world that you can't see past me as a human and you think it's a product and you, you need that jingle like you need the fix to come through and enjoy the videos. Then, I don't know. You were fair weather then because the real ones, the 2000, 3000, 4000 people that will show up for me regardless are the people that are here for me as a person. And the things that, I, that come out of my mouth and my mind and my, uh, you know, when I do cook and I want to get back to that too. I want to keep that in here still. Don't get me wrong. They like that aspect or they like my stories or they like, or they like my music. And so that's the thing. I just feel like this is, my new wave. I had to burn it all down. I have to reinvent and I have to push myself in these lanes that I want to go in. Otherwise they will never materialize or actualize into anything. And, um, I'm going to do another video about change. Um, but this is a change. It just, it has to be a change and I hope you can get comfortable with it. I hope you can be on board for it, but I have to change. I have to lose this weight, right? I have to actualize, you know, my, my talent in other arenas. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to be all encompassing. I wanted it to be comfortable. I wanted it to, to seem like you can come chill with me in my house. And this is going to make more sense as I roll out more ideas. I keep saying this every video, but like I've had this, I've been planning this for a while, right? So I have a month or a month and a half and I need to lay this framework 
for you guys to understand everything. I need to clear things up off jump and then we're gonna get into some other like fun videos and this, that, and the third. And I just want my content to feel more lifestyle and more inclusive in my life, in my house, maybe more general stuff. I don't know, just, I don't, I don't, it's hard to explain it, but when I, when, when I roll it out, you'll, you'll get it and you'll see it. So um, that's pretty much all I have to say for this one. Stopping here, this close to home, I needed it for my legs. If you guys ever have that thing where like you've been crushing exercise and you're like, I, can't, I shouldn't stop because if I stop, I'm never gonna walk again. And now I still have to walk the rest of the way home and I'm like, all I wanna do is just lay on this grass and like go to sleep basically. So this next little walk is gonna be tough, but it is what it is. I hope uh, you can understand it. I hope you can support me still. And that's the thing, this is, this is all hope for me right now. This is just a shot in the dark. This whole new switch up is just me trying to go a new way. I wanna keep it fun and interesting. I know that this style of content isn't as awesome as just in a sense like just like the video starting and there's a crazy amount of food and it's just going to be food porn like I understand that that's has its intrigue and you know it just doesn't have its intrigue for me as much as it did anymore and also I'm just dealing with the fact that I cannot keep doing that to myself hope you could ride with me um, hope you enjoyed this one and you have some clarity now and some understanding as to what's going on here and uh, you know what to do until the next one. Eat good, live well, stay true.